question about the haptic pointer, a neck worn device that presents direction by vibro tactile feedback for remote collaboration tasks. Um, nice could you numbers. see my slide? Yes, we're seeing your slides. And, and Christina, you could probably uh, uh, stop yeah. sharing the video so others have the, the video as well. It's not like we don't, we don't like to see your face. Okay, now you can start. Okay, so thank you for the introduction and all staff who organized this online conference. I'm Akira Matsuda from the University of Tokyo, Japan. Today I'll talk about Haptic Pointer, a wearable device that presents vibration feedback for remote collaboration. This is a joint work with Kazunori Nozawa, Kazuki Takata, Atsushi Izumihara, and my advisor, Junri Kimoto. This device is Haptic Pointer. And the device has 16 vibration motors. It can present horizontal and vertical direction by changing vibrating position or vibration intensity. A motivation of this work is that they present systems enable remote collaboration in outside. Because mobile or wearable device becomes much smarter, and also high-speed mobile network make rich voice and video communications. This tape and system can use in various use cases. For example, task assistance, remote touring, and remote shopping. In these cases, conveying nonverbal cues such as pointing cue or gaze are an essential to achieve remote collaboration. These cues help making common grounding or establishing joint attention. Moreover, conveying these cues allow to use taxis in communication. Of course, previous research works hard to convey these cues over distance. For example, to present systems using laser pointer or projector are proposed. However, a laser pointer or projector needs a surface to make visible the light. These requirements make it challenging to use the system in outside. To overcome these issues, we propose haptic pointer. This device presents horizontal and by vertical direction by vibration feedback. Horizontal direction represents as a position of vibration motors, and vertical direction represents as an intensity of the vibration. Researchers propose wearable devices which uses vibration feedback. Skada et al. propose active belt, and Shark et al. propose haptic color. These devices are designed for navigation. However, these devices only indicate the horizontal direction and are not designed to present pointing cues. Carl et al. propose a cap style device called Haptic Head. This device improves guiding tasks in the real world. However, an efficiency of the feedback for remote collaboration remains unclear. So we develop a vibration algorithm for presenting vertical and horizontal direction to represent pointing cues. A vibration position depends on body and target direction. This figure shows an algorithm for point position of vibration motors. Green circle are vibrating motors. Index of motor represents as this equation. The index depends on DO. DO is an angle between body and target direction. We also vibrate neighbor motors to present smooth sensation with the DO changes. In equation, 22.5 is an angle between adjacent motors. In this case, DO is 67.5 degree, so index is 3 and neighbor is 2 and 4. 
these are half intensity of primary index. Um, an intensity of vibration depends on head and body orientation. When the user body turns different direction from the target, the intensity becomes high. In contrast, when the user's body turns to the target direction, the intensity becomes low. In addition, the user looks at different direction from the target, the intensity becomes high. This figure shows the relation between target and both user's body orientation. The meaning of DO is, uh, is seen as an algorithm of vibration position. And also this figure shows a relation between target and user's head orientation. D pitch is an angle between head and target, orient uh, target direction. So the figure represents same head and body orientation as the picture. We determine the intensity as a duty ratio of PWM, and we convert both D, O, and D pitch to percentage by function F. In this case, D, O is 19 degree. So F, D, O express a red line, and D, F, D pitch becomes zero. Then duty ratio becomes 100%. In other case, both F, D, O, and D pitch become zero. There are no vibration motors. This means the user look at the target direction. Finally, the user look below and D pitch becomes 45 degree. F, D, O still zero and F, D pitch is expected as red line. Then duty ratio becomes 50%. So we conduct two types of experiment. One is performance evaluation for vibration algorithm, and the other is user study for usability. First, I explain performance evaluation. This evaluation reveals two questions. First question is that, is the user possible to sense difference of direction? And second is that how fast the user can find a target. We designed target finding task. We placed 20 targets in virtual space and the targets were distrib distributed equally. Participants sensed the vibration and tried to find the target for 160 times. We use motion capture system for capturing head and body orientation, and we recruited 13 participants. The results show that participants can sense difference of direction. They found the different target in 90.65%. Moreover, they found the target in 6.16 seconds on average. Compared with other methods, haptic head performs better than ours in all metrics, but our device has advantage over haptic head. There are two advantages over haptic head. First is wearability. The user of haptic head needs to adjust the device position for sensing the vibration in correct position. In contrast, our device does not require adjustment just put it on your shoulder like this video. Second is social acceptance. Wearing haptic head looks maybe weird in public space, in, but our device can be hid into the user's clothes. Next, we conduct user study to investigate the usability of our device. The user study reveals two questions. First question is that, 
Does vibration feedback change communication between the remote and the local user? And the second question is that, does the local user understand DEXIS from the remote user? Our user study is designed as within subjects. We compare two conditions. conditions. Participants complete the tasks with our device or without our device. We recruited six participants and we conduct semi-structured interview and record video. This figure shows that how the local and remote user communicate over distance. They communicate using voice, video, and vibration. These data are transmitted through WebRTC. The local user equip two orientation sensors to capture their head and body orientation. During, during the study, they try to complete two tasks. One is ca campus touring task, and other is photo shooting task. For remote participant, they have to navigate the local participant in provided route and also instruct to take photos in specific perspective. On the other side, the local participant sends vibration feedback for remote, uh, from the remote participant and walk through the route and take our pictures. They don't know the route and the photos to take. There are example photos to take Photos include that target place above the eye level, a part of large structure, and target that is placed same eye level. So remote participants need to present various direction to complete photo shooting task. From the interview and video of the observation, the results show that the feedback changes communication between the participants. From the interview, participants stated that the local participant can understand how degree to rotate. For example, the feedback present how little or how much to rotate intuitively. Moreover, remote participants felt like working together with the local participant. This mention suggests that the feedback enhanced the engagement between local and remote users. However, remote participants reported the issue. They need a feedback when the local participants receive the vibration, vibration. Because, because of the vibration is invisible, they are not sure that the local participant got the feedback. Next question, does the local user understand taxes from the remote user is also yes. The participant stated that using taxes makes it faster and easier to describe the detail of the instruction. Without our device, local user cannot act until the remote user finished talking. However, it is challenge, challenging to understand the purpose of the feedback. There are two means available. One is the direction in which to proceed, and the other is in which to look. This problem may be solved by changing vibration patterns, such as modulating the duration of feedback, or by presenting vibrations as pulses. Our device has some limitations. First, the user needs to move their heads to sense the changes of vibration intensity for finding the target direction, whether above or below. Second, is it is hard to sense the feedback when the user looks at target direction because the intensity becomes too weak. Third, 
the presented direction does not appear for bystanders. Thus, one device per one coworker is needed with multiple local users. So conclusion is that we present a wearable device called haptic head for outside remote collaboration. Our vibration algorithm can present vertical and horizontal direction by one-lined vibration motors. From user study, vibration feedback allows the remote user to use the access, and the feedback enhances engagement between the local and remote users. Uh, thank you.